Hey, good morning, everybody. Jen Cravasi, Jekyll Bates. This is a quick workshop update. TGIF, everybody. Thank goodness it's Friday. Thank goodness I fish. I have eight pieces to show you guys this morning. And by the time this airs, it's probably going to air mid next week, I'm thinking, because I have a series of spray sessions that I'm lining up with this particular order. And I wanted to do that because one of the cool things about this order is that I've gotten a series of pictures. You know, one of these days I'll give you guys clean hands, but I do have a glove on this side, so. But yeah, I was sent pictures by Judd and um, some really cool stuff that most of it I'm going to hold back. Um, you guys are going to see in these spray sessions. A couple of them are going to be quick sprays. I'm probably going to go in depth um, with another one that I did put together some decent footage for you guys. By the time you guys are seeing this particular workshop update, you should have already seen at least this chartreuse bass um, and then potentially I'm not sure if I'm going to release this before or after the quick spray on these goldfish super cool um, one of the things that I really enjoyed about this particular order is that I did get some pictures and this is a really dark black crappie uh, I was able to kind of do some different things with this. I used a couple of different stencils on this particular fish because it's such a dark representation of a black crappie. But in, in the photo, you can clearly see, and actually this is the correct way to hold the photo. You can see the shoreline back there. But you can see some really awesome greens if you look close. And a little bit of green throughout here. And then definitely some olive green darker greens toward the tail but mostly this fish is just super dark um, excellent representation of the fish and I had a lot of fun recreating this as I normally do I always have fun with the stuff that you guys you know get get a chance to see so that'll be coming up uh, and then for the video itself uh, because I need to get these out the door this weekend which again which is these are gone by the time you guys see this but anyways I wanted to do the crappie on a lipless for the video so that's the only deviation is that you guys are going to see the dark crappie on a lipless um, because I want to test the pattern it's just such a beautiful fish but this is what I was able to come up with for that and it's two stencils one is an FX and then one is the stencil that Bill um, Balu sent me I think I pronounced the name correct. I'm, if I didn't, I'm so sorry, Bill. But uh, I, did, I did a workshop update um, earlier in the week and uh, showcased some of the stuff that he sent me and just really cool placemats. So I was able to put those two together and I think I was able to to really represent the the complex, almost, it almost looks like a maze. I love crappie uh, patterns. So that's what we did for this particular one on these bandits you guys have seen or hopefully by the time this airs have recently seen this but this is the finished product on those Excaliburs the goldfish that you either have just seen or are about to see I think I want to release and this is just me talking in the past to you guys um, I think I want to release the quick spray and then we'll show show off this particular workshop update and one of the things that's really cool about this is that I only did a partial stencil um, let me see if I can grab the picture real quick hang on Ta -da, da -da -da. Yeah, I have it. We're just rolling with this. So this is the picture of the goldfish and you can see pretty clear that not all of the scales are represented equally. So to better portray that I did partial scale reference and this is uh, these are insane custom stencils so go check out Russ Allen and his array of really cool things so this is a fluorescent sunburst and a fluorescent orange for the darker orange on here and then I sprayed the partial scaling in a sepia so that's how we achieved that you guys again you probably have just watched the quick spray on that had a lot of fun editing that together 
And then last but certainly not least, it's a warm mouth. And it's a very dark representation of a warm mouth, but these are the colors that were in the photo. And the photo is in the box in the other room. And on these, on these Excalibur is obviously on these real cross series. Um, the eyes are in the back, and I would have described already through this um, this one. Actually, that's the bandit through this one. I left the eyes alone on that, but it does, doesn't hurt anything. And, and unless you're a real stickler, I think that it does more disservice to try and pull these off because there's a lot of scraping, and you have potential of moisture getting in between the layers of coat. So just a good prime on that. And then... Uh, the eyes kind of disappear into the back but because it doesn't have eyes it was intended to be a crawl this is just super glue but you really have to make sure that your placement of the eyes is spot on so that is the quick workshop update thanks for hanging out with me today TGIF you guys are going to see this at some point probably towards the end of next week or the middle of next week uh, again it's uh, it's all in scheduled rotation because I have a lot of other videos that are cycling through that have just been edited so we're trying to get some Disney stuff done and a few other things my family vacation and when you guys again I'm probably going to be talking in the past to you but when you guys see the Disney vacation um, just remember that it was my family keepsake so you don't need to judge it it's not a fishing video it's just my family at Disney so I hope you guys have a great rest of your day TGIF or whenever you watch the video, whenever I publish it. So have a great day. We will talk to you soon and see you on the water. Happy casting.